और मुझे वाकई में आई वॉज अमेज कि इस इस बिगाने में आपने ये चमन बना दिया इट एज ए सोशल एंटरप्रेनर वाकई में इट इज ए बिग एडवेंचर सर एंड आई रियली कॉम्प्लीमेंट यू फॉर ऑल योर एफर्ट्स बहुत अच्छा काम है जो जिस तरह से आपने क्या वॉइस आउट करवा दीजिए मेरा सजेशन जो मेरे प्रोड्यूसर ने अभी कहा कि के वी के आई हैव टू द चेयरमैन ऑफ के वी के ओनली एंड आई थिंक कई चीज़ों का सॉल्यूशन के वी के यहाँ के लिए हो सकता है अगर के वी के सब ऑपरेशन के पास आ जाए तो यू आर वेरी राइट सर यू आर सैड डेफिनेटली कि अगर के वी के आ गया तो इस एरिया का जीर्णोद्वार और काफ़ी हद तक हो जाएगा दूसरा मेरा एक छोटा सजेशन और है कि आपके पास स्टूडेंट इतनी सारी गलत है तो हर एक स्टूडेंट से अगर प्लान्टेशन अगर एक ट्राई करवाई जाए इनसे और जैसे आपने कहा कि प्लान्टेड बाई भी एक तख्ती लगे हुई है पी एड सी कि डिफरेंट ऑफिसर्स आए होंगे डिफरेंट स्टेलवर्ड्स आए होंगे इसी तरह एक स्टूडेंट हर एक स्टूडेंट का अपना अपना अगर एक छोटा सा सैपलिंग अगर यहाँ पर प्लान हो जाए तो शायद कुछ वर्षों में यहाँ पर एक ग्रेड रेवोल्यूशन की फिर से बोला जा रहा है अच्छा ये सब स्टूडेंट्स का ही था इट वॉज मोर देन पी आई अच्छा ग्रेट सर ग्रेटेशन वेरी नाइस आई रियली कॉम्प्लीमेंट यू ऑल फॉर दैट एंड आई थिंक यू डिजर्व अ स्टैंडिंग ओवेशन मैं अपने डेलीगेट से मैं रिक्वेस्ट करूँगा कि इस पूरी टीम को पर्टिकुलरली हमारे स्टूडेंट्स जो आपका है कोर्ट धारण करके इस गर्मी में खड़े हुए थे हमारे लिए इन सब को जो है एक मोमेंट एक अप्रोच मिलना चाहिए तो Because we have demonstrated how how we can even in place like Jaipur, 
where there was no water. We have to get to the oasis and everybody, the land that has gone up quite tremendously there. So that's why this camp, this place is going to be a very important place. I would want to come and see uh, next year, year after year, every year I would want to come and see. If you want me to come and teach, I don't need anybody because I am old enough. So I will become, I will have to come here, sir. And I, my students, you know, you need Sarantha Nisra. Keep up the Sarantha work, it is a very important work. You know, whereby every Saturday or Sunday you, you work on looking out of the plants. And then papaya, when papaya comes, eat well. Papaya, mango, you know, you can eat well. I told, I tell my students, Tujya Pur campus, what you get to eat? I say, come, 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 National Agriculture Tenation Club organized by this university, I think that was successful. I would like to share my experience that in, the, in case of there is one popular tree that is exotic that was introduced from USA. That is the one, one of the best agroforestry tree. And for introduction and for the success of its plantation in all over northern India, Vimco Seedling Limited is responsible. That has successfully introduced the tree and widely planted. They introduced the uh, buyback guarantee. They, they introduced the buyback arrangement. And as a result of that, large number of farmers adapted. And I am sure this university will establish such examples. And one thing more, I would like to give one suggestion. Same with regard to the popular. Uh, I, I participated in one of the workshops at Dehradun. And the organizers of the workshop, they arranged a field visit to see the plantation of poplar that was in Yamunanagar, eastern part of the Haryana. And they, they, this was the Islam show around 2004. And in 2003, one training program was organized by World Agroforestry Center, Nairobi, Kenya. They also organized the field visit at the same place in the Yamunanagar. Yamunanagar is the best place for the plantation of popular and alternate, alternate field is planted with popular. So here I want to point out that we cannot take our student to the Yamunanagar to show the plantation of popular. We can have arrangement of videography and that can be shown to the students. Not only popular, similarly so many other practices which are not prevalent in your area, they can be recorded through video and can be shown to the students for the best exposure. And I hope this university will be able to do such innovative programs. Thank you. Chancellor of the University, all the honorable delegates who have come here for the national conclave. I am odd man out. My name is Dr. Pankaj Sandhi. I am I was the Vice Chancellor of Sanskrit University of Maharashtra and uh, former President of Association of Indian Universities. Actually, because I had a, I had specially requested uh, Shri Rai Sudhiji that I wanted to see this university. So he yesterday phoned me and requested me to come all the way. He had made all the arrangements, so I am very much here. I would like to say I was really happy to see the total growth of the, the speedy growth of this university. I would not speak much about because I am not a student of agriculture. But I would like to point out one thing that most of the agriculture universities in India are owned by other governments, different governments, central or the state one. There are very few or other may not be private agriculture universities. I don't know about it. 
but this university though a multi faculty university will definitely grow as a national agricultural university i am sure about it simply because the reason is that in rest of the university the vice chancellor is there for 5 years he has the vision he has the plan he puts his uh, he toys for the growth of the university but the moment he changes after 5 years or at the most second or not 10 years the new man comes in with new different vision so there is no uh, sequence sometime in the growth of the university because everybody has different ideas the area changes so but here you have the person in the form of the honorable vice chancellor uh, experienced vice chancellor he was the ex vice chancellor of mumbai university a grand experience he has a national level experience international level experience and sunil rai sunil ji who is the chancellor of this university he personally comes here visits everything he studies everything and i will tell you the man started his career from a different area into education with a polytechnic and today he has the biggest possible empire of higher education because of his experience and total guidance and cooperative nature very cooperative nature so i'm sure that in days to come since he is not taking any for the government uh, grants for the growth of the university there will be no less government interference or other no government interference and he will have a free hand to put his vision in practice and this university i'm sure though a multi faculty as an agricultural city as a university of animal husbandry this will grow at a national level and may i hope that it should go grow at an international level i will just quote one thing that recently i am a member of scabe central advisory board of education of india so it is the highest higher education body of india so while delivering our introductory speech the higher education chairman of higher mr sharma told that only one faculty is there where there is no unemployment that is agriculture and animal husbandry there is no unemployment for the graduates so this will be a very good sign that if this university comes up very fast prospers definitely the young lads in this country or in this beginning to begin with the vicinity and subsequently in the country will have the biggest chance to get the employment which is the prime objective of education today thank you very much First of all, I tender my heartiest congratulations to the Honorable Chancellor, Vice Chancellor of this University, as well as the faculty members, students, staff, ladies and gentlemen, for this wonderful meeting with University to render commendable services to science and community, mankind and humanity, the grassroots of society, and the predominant. Agriculture-based national economy at large, where new graduates of agriculture have played major supportive role in totality. And I think this university is sure to come up as per expectations of great men like Maharana Pata, in the old times, Mahamana Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya Ji, and others who conceived and perceived the religious values of agriculture, horticulture, and dairy. to build up a hunger free and neutral rich prosperous and prosperous india with the help of very very important extensive service delivery system either through kvk or through the establishment of grand agriculture graduates and i wish you very best the whole university the staff and the students and possibly this is the only way to launch the door of scholastic paradise to open up there whereby our students here admitted as new seedlings are planted to the garden of agriculture to blossom with the passage of time at the best part of the world of the world to spread their prudent aroma of excellence across all areas and to, 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 to explode like a volcano of excellence around the world wish you all the very best Honorable Chancellor, Vice Chancellor of the Institute, Honorable Vice Chancellors, Madam Chancellor, Secretary of State, Honorable, let me now say it. Honorable, congratulations in the field of the education group that this hard work they achieved 
much higher than the SPM. Now, if you see, the good six month principal, the past year students uh, may, or teachers may know that when you open a difference of sex solution, the first principal says that the target is the primary candidate and followed by the adapted process of the You see the length, sort, and the target, and, and the water supply. So, quite unfavorable. Still, they have a dream. Dream is very sky high. And that they have ideas. And seeing the progress in the last two and a half years is really, really unthinkable. Now, for any operation education institution to grow up, there are three things that are important. One, the competent teachers. Two, the teacher students. And third is your enabling environment. And the very same enabling environment is a the administration with the decentralized material of uh, decision making, infrastructure and funding. This education group, headed by the Honorable Chancellor and Dr. Bhai Chancellor, has pulled all these things. The public university is led the third part. Though we get competent teachers, we get talented students in the prepared public university, the private university, the third thing where the participants take up decision and infrastructure will there. And this is the one with the model for others. I'm sure this private university, the Bikati, the Campus University, we establish is definitely for others emulate so that others university will measure the standard with the, 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 the scale established by this university. I'm sure the coming years will have a very excellent and proper trajectory for the legends university. Thank you very much. Honorable Chairman, Vice Chancellor of this university, only Star Wars Vice Chancellor, delegates, ladies and gentlemen. Sir, I am the former Director Extension of Rajasthan Agricultural University and presently headed the private university as a dean faculty of agriculture. And I am working in private university for the last three years. And so far I have seen so many of private and public sector universities in India and abroad. But I have not seen such type of a university which are taking care of about the research extension and teaching mandates of the ICR in a very sophisticated manner. I personally uh, discuss the students' modalities, what is the way of teaching of this university. All students are uh, really happy and you have already implemented the fifth dean committee all the courses. I discuss the only students also. They are also happy. I also see different laboratories also there because I have experience of the private university working for the past three years. There is a large distance between the chairman, vice chancellor and the student and faculty. But here I find that there is no difference between the vice chancellor and the students even the register also. Even myself as a working as a dean, it is very difficult for me to contact my chancellor of the university. And if there is no interaction with the students and faculty, no problem will be solved. And I have not seen any university in the world, which is even in a private university that has so much of the infrastructure and congenial atmosphere in this university. I really congratulate to the chairman, vice chancellor and registrar also. Some of my senior delegates have already posed the establishment of receiving camp kendras. Though this university has a sufficient land to establishment of receiving camp kendras, that only leaves 20 acres of the land. Even in Rajasthan, I am founder director of extension education and established more than 42 receiving camp kendras of NGO and ICR and SE also. They never are working very fairly. Those, those in this university are also taking care of the farmers training, farmer women training, all programs are taking care. But even establishment of KVK is a mandatory because we all are amassed a very early time period. Yeah. The expectation from agriculture sectors are increasing day by day, but everybody of us are experiencing the crunches of resources. But I hope this university may come at the top, not only India, but all over the world. This is my whole business. Thank you all for your wishes. And also, thank you and congratulations for giving us so many of good hospitalities during our tenure for two days. I really congratulate the chairman, honorable vice chancellor, and register also for taking care of. Thank you. Respected Chancellor of the University, Vice Chancellor, and our young and energetic registrar and Manali Madam, 
all the faculty members, delegates and students. Actually, I belong to Rajasthan from the arid area and the rainfall pattern is almost synonymous or parallel to the Rajasthan area. So, in this scarcity of water and in a very small span of the time, wonderful development of the trees, intercropping system, our poultry set, house set, even greenhouse, a wonderful development in a very small period of its life. Secondly, what I observed, I think you have selected young team of the agriculture teachers. So nowadays, industrial can give a good growth of any of the unit. And as Sir Chancellor uh, Sir, I tell you, now a time of earlier there was a boom of the engineering. And very good strength was getting entry in the engineering stream. But now there is a serious migration of this engineering bio students towards the agriculture. For your information, I tell you, in Rajasthan, in addition to six agriculture universities of the government, there are 26 universities. They are running agriculture faculty and a very good number of students are getting admission in agriculture. So, you have taken a very wise decision at the right time and around 10 to 15,000 of students will get degree of the agriculture in Rajasthan after 2-3 years. My little suggestion, keeping in view of the scarcity of the rainfall, Although there is a scarcity of the water, but we are managing in a very nice manner. We can promote or must have some collaboration to raise a soil duration crops so that whatever the scenario of the monsoon, we can get a, get a better yield in failure of the monsoon. So I had been serving the heritage project of the government university and serve various positions. So, so duration crops can be developed or can be procured and we can get good production and seeds should be disseminated to the farmers. So, it will be very big help to the farmers of this area if we can give them the so duration seeds of various kharif crops and in rabi crops. Secondly, we can develop seedlings of fruits and the vegetables and that can be given to the farmers. Once I visited Parvani Center of Maharashtra and there was a Latup Center and that center developed 10 lakh seedlings of the banana and they were distributed to the farmers and once the minister visited, he outrightly announced the Biotechnology Center and then Natu Center. So, supplying the good material to the farmers, it is a very big achievement of a agriculture unit. Uh, with this, I give to my uh, comments. Secondly, uh, in the last, I would like to convey thanks to all your management committee and all the committees which was pretty which uh, we observed. Actually, I have attended so many international conferences. But this conference is closing to the, my prior conferences. Once I visited Israel, so facilities we are getting admired to the Israel also. So it is resembled to the international uh, conclave. So I give my best message for better growth of this university. Thank you, Arthur. Yes, thank you very much uh, for all your suggestions and inputs. We take it with an open mind and hope that when we invite you the next time, we would be in a position to bring that change that Otto you have told us. Now, with stalwarts sitting in this room, it would not be fair 
if you don't solve the problem of our students. So I request the students, if they have any question in their mind, the whole plethora of galaxy of intellects are here. Students, play, please make the best use of their experiences and ask questions of whatever you want related to your academics or anything related to agriculture. Any students, please come over with your question related to academics or related to your field. And then after that, if there's anything, if we, we can take another, after that, few more feedbacks. And out of this, 
95% being used for vegetables, more than 50% is being used only on hybrid seed production. And hybrid seed production has a lot of scope. What I mean to say, they have developed widely about processing. एक किसान ने ग्रीनहाउस बना लिया और उठकर चले गए। उसको ये नहीं पता ग्रीनहाउस में क्या लगाना है, उसमें वेंटिलेशन का लेवल क्या होना चाहिए, यहाँ पे बैठे हैं, यहाँ पे क्या क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशंस हैं, उसको नहीं मालूम है। कौन सी वैरायटी टमाटर की, कीड़े की, सिंपलेस की लगानी है? लेकिन
कोशिश रहेगी जरूरत है क्वालिटी एजुकेशन से कॉम्प्रोमाइज नहीं करना चाहिए मैं किसी लेवल पर भी थैंक यू वेरी मच नाउ द लंच इज ऑलरेडी रेडी एंड सम ऑफ द वाइस चांसलर्स एंड डेलीगेट दे हैव टू पेज टू द एयरपोर्ट एंड देन फॉर बिफोर वी कंक्लूड आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट चेयर साहब टू से आंसर द क्वेश्चन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट एंड देन आई टेक वन मोर मिनट आफ्टर दैन एंड देन वी गो I request all the students to please count it. So when this margin of profit is reduced, farmers are not getting 
as in their desire. So that profit of margin has to be increased. Production, we are increasing no doubt. But margin of profit for the farmer that has to be increased. This is very important. So these two questions, certain one thing about one question about agriculture one has asked that why agriculture is not uh, some student has asked about agriculture in our uh, country. Uh, uh, that is all right. That is all right. Now this is very important. You can have a full seminar of this type of question which they have asked. So, I, I, I think uh, you will excuse me. I definitely, I promise, I will come. I my own expenditure. You must be not pay for it. And I will, I will come to interact with these young men. And same things are being repeated. 90% repeated we know for is there some new ideas there? <laughs> so we keep on looking for this. But many new things are coming. I request my senior Dr. Patil, he is very competent scientist, very competent guy, and he is guiding agriculture in different states. Please excuse me, my flight will not be delayed. <laughs> I have to leave. But I promise I'll come and I will interact with you for full day. Opportunity now to interact with the student. That was one of the sessions. This is the last session after that lunch is the session. So several questions which you have asked. So agriculture is the mother of all industry. You know it? Yes. No problem. At the head of all sciences and arts stands neither the science of militarism which destroys nor the art of commerce which accumulates, but stands agriculture, the maintainer of human life. So, walk a breakfast, go for the lunch, snacks, night food, otherwise no sleep, no thinking, nothing. You have to go as hunters. So, you have become civilized people with mobile, going in aeroplane, that is agriculture contribution. So, this is the background. As regards your own prosperity and opportunity, most of the students prefer to become IAS from agriculture. It is good. If they go, the policies will be better. From IRI, when I was director, 28 students became IAS officers. I asked them why you are going to IAS when genetics and plant with PhD, you have completed. Sir, we are practical, you are scientists, you are talking like a scientist. You will sit in the red light car at a big building just in a year. Becoming a scientist, it takes 20 years to achieve that. So we want to go, no problem. So there is avenue open, commercial tax. Even from Darwin, there are 500 breeders in different companies who are breeding vegetable varieties, fruit varieties, field crop varieties. In Hyderabad itself, there are 300 breeders from Darwad So this is seed, fertilizer, oil fertilizer, pesticide, irrigation, drip irrigation, business, branding, putting in national and international markets. So all these are whether agriculture, the Raisuri University can take it to agribusiness or agriculture business schools. So this is where there is art. So you divide your, yourself in your mind. Whether you want to become professional agriculture graduate or you want to become non-professional job. So if you non-professional IAS, tax, etc. There are many post depot managers, there are many controllers from agriculture faculty. What you choose at what time if you are looking for your own interaction with your family, how to earn immediately after graduation, that decides your career. So if you can wait and then really think, for six months or one year after graduation or post graduation, definitely you will get your professional lot. Otherwise, you choose whatever you want, but there is a lot of scope for agriculture. I will tell some examples as a professional people. I, yesterday also I told, there is one Abdul Rao who studied up to 9th class. I told yesterday also, when I was there, they are not there. And he has 
500 acres of land which he has earned after a dropout from ninth class. And he is exporting by to different countries. And he sits at the tree when he puts a button. His father's are on, his trip is on, pesticides are spread automatically, there is no labor required. And he has 5,000 tree trees, the value of their tree trees is 50 lakhs, 550 crores. So that he has created. So that means if you work hard in the field also, there is a lot of scope. There is one lady yesterday I quoted from Raichu. She has seven acres of land and she is growing mango, sapota, pomegranate. And then on that she is growing sandalwood. Sandalwood, she says, after 12 years, she is going to be a karodapati. Now she is lackier, she is going to be karodapati. So what ideas, there is one Sare Patel's total income is 25 crores from polyhouses. And even here also you are trying to get polyhouses. Now what I request by sense the faculty here, whether you can really erect an infrastructure which meets the demand of integrated farming system components so that you can choose any component whichever you in a short time. So if you want to produce income 5 lakhs, you, you can go for sheep and goat. Within 6 months you can get in the rare about 500 goats and warm compost. These are quick. Then banana tissue culture, mushroom cultivation, apiculture. So many opportunities are there, but uh, what is your determination of mind? How much time you are spending from morning to evening in in Gappa uh, Marne ke liye kitna hai? How much you sleep? And how, what are your activities? What is your planning every day that to achieve your career? These decide your career. Not the regular course. You may be topper, but you may not get any job if you do not have a planning and approach. So planning approach. And this is very important, how do you plan your career? So I think uh, we are again coming to our university in June for planning process and all that. We will have greater interaction at that time. Don't worry, although you have come not by desire, I know you wanted to go to medical and selected engineering branches. By desire, you are not come, by default you have come, but you have come to the right place. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Professor, uh, and I must thank each and every one of you for uh, giving your precious time. I'm sure we will take uh, your advice in future also, and then uh, we will uh, certainly take advantage of your wisdom, which has been created in so many years. So thank you very much. I hope now this is the lunch time. So student friends, let them have the lunch. And uh, we will invite each one of them uh, in the coming years separately.